Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Now, originally this MyGM video was a live commentary, but this is what it sounded like when I recorded it. We beat him in overtime. So, yeah. So, yeah, I couldn't put out a video with that type of audio, so I'm going to have to post commentary this one. I'm sorry for you guys that wanted to see a live com. I normally do live comms on the face cam, but unfortunately... Um, yeah, like you guys just heard, the audio wasn't too good, but pretty much in this episode, I submitted my proposal, finally, um, you know, I updated the jersey a little bit, I put the two logos on the side, which is what the Indiana Pacers have in real life, and I took the NBA logo off the top of the jersey, because you guys didn't want to see that, and yeah, I submitted the proposal, which is good, we have, we will have, you know, the new jerseys and court for next season, which is awesome, and remember this record from here on out, right, we're 46 and 25, and uh, watch what the record ends up being by the end of the season. Because from here on out, we just simulated to the end of the season. So let's skip over to there. So now we're 52 and 29, making 52 and 30, which ends the season. I'm going to do the trade new. The. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Would I like to speak some English, please? We're doing the uh, trade negotiation. Um, just because, you know, why not? Why not make trades a little bit easier? Because trades are pretty hard in my GM this year. But, uh, yeah, we simulated till the end of the season. And we are going to play in the playoffs in the next couple of episodes. And hopefully the audio will uh, will be fixed by then. I don't know what happened. Like, it was just cutting in and out and all this other stuff. And luckily, I only recorded two episodes. Because normally I record more than two. I, I normally record, you know, five or four at a time. But, yeah, I don't know, man. I got lucky. <laughs> I guess, because it could have been a lot worse. And um, the other episode wasn't even like an episode of the Indiana Pacers My GM series, which is kind of cool. But Westbrook wins the MVP, which, yeah, I thought Durant was going to win it. I was hoping Paul George was winning it. But yeah, Westbrook, look at those numbers 24 points, almost 10 rebounds, 11.8 assists, almost, you know, 12 assists, 2.4 steals. Crazy game. Uh, not crazy game, crazy year. You know, cat. Carl Anthony Towns wins Rookie of the Year. Ginobili goes old school, sixth man of the year. DeAndre 3000 wins, you know, defense player of the year. My main man, Thaddeus Young, MRP, most improved player, 17 points, 10 assists, uh, 10 rebounds. I cannot even talk in this episode. I apologize. But, uh, no, nah, it's, uh, I like saying Thaddeus Young. You know, I got three boys in, in, uh, in the NBA. I got my boy, Andre Drummond, my boy, Daddy Shung, and my boy, Dwayne Wade. But then I got some old school guys I like to watch as well, Ben Wallace and Alan Iverson. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but Paul George made it to the All-NBA second team uh, for the Indiana Pacers, which is us. And, you know, I don't think we had, we didn't have anybody else for any other team. We didn't have any rookies or anything like that. So, yeah, just Paul George. And that's pretty much what the team was. It was Paul George throughout the whole year, pretty much. But, um, no, we are going up against the Toronto Raptors in the first, you know, first series of the, uh, of the NBA playoffs, first round, and the Raptors, you know, they're pretty good, obviously, in real life, you know, they got DeMar DeRozan, Kyle Lowry, and DeMar, he has been killing it in real life, it's crazy, DeMar's been playing really, really well, the only team, the only trade that they've made is, uh, acquiring Taj Gibson, and they traded a Patrick Patterson, I believe, but I we'll, we'll check right now. But yeah, uh, Taj Gibson on the uh, on the Raptors, that's a pretty good pickup in my opinion. I mean, he's getting paid quite a bit, but I mean for the Raptors, they kind of need a power forward. And yeah, they traded Patrick Patterson for Taj Gibson. So uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna simulate first game up against the Raptors. And let's hopefully let's see if we can take this win. But uh, no, if we don't if we don't beat the Raptors in the first round, I'ma be pretty pissed. Like I mean, we we're not the greatest team when you think about it. We're, we're the Indiana Pacers. We got Paul George, and we acquired Derrick Rose. But in 2K, if you don't play with Derrick Rose, like if you if you're simulating games, he's not that good. And by the way, D Rose is actually injured for the first couple of games in this uh, in this series. So. Yeah, he, uh, he got injured, but Joe Green, he stepped up. 23 points, 8 for 14. CJ Miles played pretty well, 21 points. 21! <laughs> Paul George went 13 points, 16 assists, 3 blocks. This man was beasting and feasting, but he only went... He went 5 for 15, which isn't too good, but yeah. How did the, uh, how did the Raptors play? I think DeMar played pretty well in this game. I'm going to have to check in a sec, but Danny Grange, he played alright off the bench, and... Uh, 
Yeah, for the Raptors, DeMar dropped 24 points with 4 steals, 6 assists and 4 rebounds. He was playing pretty well for the Raptors, but they couldn't get the win. So yeah, let's hop into game number 2. I think we should be able to win this game as well. We're at home, and home court advantage is always good. And uh, I had to pause the recording and start again, so... Yeah, the the ga the audio in the in the video was just all messed up in this in this video, so I'm sorry I have to post commentary this one, but it's all good because my pace is we're doing pretty well right now. We're doing well. We're uh, we're beating the uh, the Raptors by a pretty big lead right here. So yeah, we win game number two as well. Joe Green, he's been stepping it up, and this was a whole team performance. If your top scorer is only 19 points. I mean, that's a pretty solid effort since we uh, since we played pretty well. And I wanted, to, I wanted to see how well Gerald Green was playing in this. And then I also wanted to see how bad Paul George was playing. Because Paul George, he hasn't really done much for me. So, uh, yeah, I went to I went to change the uh, the scoring options. Because Paul George, you know, you know, in an NBA playoff series, you expect Paul George to be doing work. And so here, I changed him to the first scoring option, D. Rose to the second, and I even put Kenneth Fareed at the third scoring option, but he doesn't score. You know that. Kenneth Fareed's not a great offensive player. And in 2K, he doesn't really do much for me. So I think on draft night, I might look to trade Kenneth Fareed just as a heads up. But, I mean, we'll have to see how far we make it into this, uh, into this series, uh, whether we make it past the first round or... Pass the second round, pass the third round, I don't know. But, you know, I'm looking to do some work. Um, and I, I, I want to win a championship uh, with the Indiana Pacers, but I don't know if we can do it with the current team that we have now. So I want you guys to comment down below. In free agency, you got, you guys have watched a lot of my GM I'm expecting, or just like you've watched my, my GM series, hopefully. So you guys have an idea, or you, maybe you play 2K, I don't know. But hopefully you guys have an idea on who's going into free agency. But off the top of my head, I mean, we've got LeBron, Drummond, Dwight, Hassan, all these guys um, that, you know, I could possibly get. In, uh, in free agency. So I want you guys to comment down below right now who are some players that you would like me to get in free agency. And while you're at it, I'd, it'd be awesome if you guys could please leave a like on this video to show your support for the next episode and the channel, whatever it is. It'd be awesome if you guys could leave a like rating down below. But um, yeah, Paul George, I want to have a look at how he's been playing. And Paul George, I mean, he's, he's, he's not doing too well right now. I don't know what it is. But uh, he just hasn't been scoring very well. The last four games, that, or the last three games that we played up against the Raptors, he's dropped 13, 15, and 10, all with a terrible percentage. So, I don't know what Paul George is playing at, but yeah, like I said, it'd be awesome if you guys can comment down below some free agents that you want me to pick up uh, in, your, in the uh, upcoming free agency. But as of now, I'm about to hop on and play 2K because I'm about to play game number four and hopefully we can sweep the Toronto Raptors and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. It's been your boy, Nick Smith. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!